Hi everyone, I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service and it's time for our weekly Visit Bemidji, Bemidji Area Fishing Report. Well folks, the last probably almost a week now, the wind has really been the big problem on area lakes. It's kept a lot of folks off, especially on the bigger lakes. And then the mayflies are starting to hatch on various lakes, so that doesn't help matters either. But hey, saying all that, the fish are still on the bite. And on those windy days, you can't get on those bigger lakes. Folks with over 400 lakes within 25 miles of Bemidji, you can get back on some of these little lakes back in the woods. And if you're not ex really care about what you catch, a lot of these lakes are loaded with crappies and bluegills, northern pike, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, and even an occasional walleye. So what we're gonna do this morning here, we're just using very simple, a 1 8 ounce jig, just a plain jig head, and a little plastic worm called a dinger. It's about a five inch worm. And we just, just hook that on there, just almost like you're hooking a night crawler or a minnow, something like that. Snug it up to the base of the jig head. And then we're working the edge of the weeds. The weeds now in most area lake, when I'm talking coontail and, and cabbage weeds, are in about 12 to 14 feet, depending on the clarity of the lake. Work the edges of those weeds and you never know what you're gonna catch. It's really a lot of fun and you'll catch just about every species that's in the lake along those deep weed edges. And folks, remember too, a lot of the lakes in the Bemidji area have a slot limit from 14 to 20 inches. You gotta put them back right away. And when we go bass fishing, I take people out, we put the fish back anyhow. Oh yeah, that's a nice gal. Look at that one gal, guys and gals, huh? That's a nice Minnesota largemouth bass here in the Bemidji, Minnesota area. Boy, and she's a tanker too, she's eating good. Let's her get her back in the water. Man, nice fish, go on there girl. There she goes, all right, no harm done. So there's a bass, maybe we can catch a pike or a walleye, you never know because when you fish the edge of the deep grass, every single fish in the lake is gonna, gonna be in those areas. A lot of people don't like fishing the grass because you get hung up on the weeds and things like that. But let me tell you folks, in the summertime now when these fish have set up on their patterns, most people don't fish the weeds, especially for walleyes are out on the rocks and the humps. But I guarantee you, you fish along those deep weed edges, you can use live bait, plastics, whatever you wanna do, pull in spinners, you can catch walleyes in those weeds all summer long. Let's bait back up again. So folks, we're just popping that jig out parallel along the edge of a deep grass line here. And just popping that jig, letting it sit, popping the jig. Oh, there's some pull knot. There's one right there. Boy, that one was just barely holding on. Look at her down there. You can see those marble eyes of hers glowing in the sunlight. Oh, that's a pretty fish. We'll get the net on that one. Going. Hey folks, I'm telling you, weed line, walleyes, bass, pike, crappies, bluegills, you'll catch them all along the weed lines here in the Bemidji, Minnesota area. Holy cow, look at that baby, huh? What a nice fish caught on an eighth ounce jig in plastic. Folks, come on up to the Bemidji area, the fish are on the bite, the weather's warm, we're having a great time here, and please remember to practice selective harvesting. By doing so, we'll continue to have great fishing for years to come. I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service. Have a great day on the water.